guys, welcome back. I'm Amanda from Blissful Gal, and today I'm going to be talking about different ways to help you guys get a better night's sleep. Because who the heck doesn't like sleep? So the first tip is to have a good mattress. Um, so I was a little cheap in college and I had to get a mattress for one of my apartments and I didn't get that great of a one. And about two, three years into this mattress, you could definitely see a divot to where I used to lay. So that wasn't very comfortable. But I was gifted a mattress from Tomorrow, and they're one of those box mattress companies that um, they ship you the box. You would never even know there's a dang mattress in this thing because they pack it so tightly. But you just um, unwrap, unwrap it and it's just this beautiful like memory foam type mattress and honestly it is the best for my sleep. <laughs> for sleep so I am a human radiator at night like if it's too hot in the room I sweat like no other so it needs to be cool in the room in general for me but according to sleep.org I did some research for you guys um, according to them they say that the optimal sleeping temperature is 60 to 67 degrees and yeah that's just perfect and tip three is to diffuse essential oils so I am a huge fan of candles scents really anything but at night I am not going to be burning a candle when I want to go to sleep so I diffuse um, my essential oils with my art naturals um, it's like a teardrop diffuser and I like to diffuse lavender and peppermint just because those really calm me down at night. And tip four is to drink tea. I love to drink tea at night, especially if it's later at night and I kind of have the munchies, but I know I'm not really hungry. I like to drink tea because that subsides that craving to eat something. And I really don't like to eat really close to going to bed anyways. So I like to drink chamomile. Um, I have this one, it's a lavender citrus blend that I really love as well. And then just any kind of like herbal teas, I really like at night. All right, and tip five is to adjust the warmth and brightness on your phone screen. So typically people tell you not to look at your phone late at night, but does anybody really listen to that? I, I mean, that's gonna take some major willpower. So. Um, what I decided to do is to adjust the warmth and brightness on my phone screen. So all you have to do is just go into the settings on your phone and you can turn it into like, on iPhones it's called a uh, night shift and all it does is just make your screen a warm tone so it looks orange instead of uh, like showing the blue wavelengths. So it doesn't really distract your brain that much and keep you more awake and alert and then I just turn the brightness all the way down so that way I'm not like squinting or trying to focus really hard on my screen. So there's a tip to get around all those people telling you not to look at your screen at night. Even though it's still probably distracting me but whatever. Going off the diffusing essential oils um, because I am a huge lover of scents and smells. I also like to spray sheet spray and like good smelling stuff on my sheets because whenever I lay down on my pillows and they just smell wonderful, it just helps me calm down and 
relax a little bit more. So I have a couple um, sprays that I like to use, but you can also just make your own with essential oils and put them in glass spray bottles and yeah, make your own that way. It's super easy. But the sprays, the scents that I like to spray are um, lavender and peppermint. So pretty much the same that stuff that I diffuse. My next tip is to watch TV shows or movies that don't make your brain race or constantly think about the show or any kind of different situations. Um, I definitely like horror, not horror, I hate horror movies. I like suspense and like kind of like the thrillers, um, but I definitely will not watch them during the week at night before I have to go to sleep because I know that the second I lay down for bed, I'm gonna be thinking about the movie, thinking about all the different things that went on in the movie, what could happen in real life, and all of a sudden I'm awake at like 2 a.m. and stressing because I need to sleep. So I typically turn on the TV and watch like Gossip Girl because I already know what happens in the show because I've seen it before. Um, so that really prevents me from trying to stay up longer because I know what happens so if I don't finish it it's not that big of a deal and my next tip is to take a shower or a bath to unwind guys showers and baths at night have become my go-to in my nightly routine like even if I am gonna go work out in the morning and I like don't want to wash my hair because I still I've, I'm gonna wash it in the morning I still take a shower just to like like just rinse the day away from my body um it's just a nice little thing that i do at night and it just makes me feel better um and more relaxed and when i take a bath i typically do that like after i've had like a really like, difficult workout or if i'm starting to my muscles are starting to feel it a couple days later i like to take a bath and i really like the knipe um bath salts um those are so awesome and i also really like um bath bombs from like Sky Organics and Lush because who doesn't love Lush? The next one is quit looking at the time. Now I'm the type of person that if I know that I need to be in bed around 9 30 because I have to get to bed or I have to fall asleep at 10 and I'm constantly checking the time to see what time it is, I get so stressed thinking about how much sleep I've lost and how much sleep I'll be getting because I didn't I didn't actually fall asleep and all of a sudden it's two in the morning because I'm still stressing about the amount of sleep that I haven't gotten. I don't like to check my phone to see what time it is um, because I just start stressing and I know that it's really not that big of a deal if I miss a half an hour of sleep. So once I've decided to actually close my eyes and start the fall asleep process. I don't look at my phone. I typically have it on do not disturb so that way it doesn't alert me if anyone's texting me or whatever. But yeah, you should probably do that too if you stress. And my last tip is to have background noise or white background sounds and white noise playing. Um, I am the type of person that I need to fall asleep to sounds. So I typically keep my TV on and just put it on a sleep timer um, for about an hour just so that way I can listen to something while I'm falling asleep. But I also like to keep my fans on so that way it drowns out any outside noises from my room or outside um, of my room. Or um, there's also so many different apps for like rain sounds and just like relaxing tones or even just like the white noise like from your TV that would get me so keyed up but I know that it helps some people so if it helps you you never know um, if you guys want to check out the blog post I highlight a little bit more um, from this video in there or or yeah I'm gonna be trying to come at you guys with some more blog posts here and there um, but yeah if you guys have any like specific ideas you want me to do let me know in the comments below. <laughs> that rhymed. I didn't. Okay. So thank you guys for listening and thank you guys for watching actually. Unless you're just like watching and listening. It doesn't even matter. But thank you guys for stopping by. I hope to see you guys later and have a great week. Bye. Y'all shout. There is a bug. What kind of bug is that? that's not okay. Ew, I think it's a stink bug. All right, we're just going to pretend that it's not there right now and then we're just going to keep going.
totally forget where I was at. 